You can even add any song from Spotify directly into your episodes. The possibilities are endless for what you can create, whether it's music analysis, your own radio show, or something the world's never heard before. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. Plus, you can make money from your podcast with no minimum (laughs) listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. So guys, download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Anchor is sponsoring another ad. Guys, do you like this show and want to make your own? Let me tell you about Anchor. Anchor is free, and there's certain tools that allow you to record and edit right from your phone or computer. Best of all, with Anchor, you can add any songs from Spotify directly to your episode. And who doesn't like songs? The possibilities are endless for what you can create, whether it's music analysis, your own radio show, a deep dive on your favorite genre or artist, or something the world's never heard before, like Ilya's name. (laughs) Sorry. (laughs) Anchor will even help publish your show to Spotify so you can reach hundreds of millions of listeners. Guys, if you have an idea for a show with music, get started by downloading the free Anchor app or going to anchor.fm. If you need inspiration, head over to blog.anchor.fm slash music for some idea starters. What is that? What is what? What's in your fucking, what's in your lap? This is top grade stuff. What, drugs? What are you doing, bro? Stolen from the beehive itself. (gasps) That's a honeycomb. This is natural honey, huh? Have have you ever had it? No. Guys, this looks so aesthetically pleasing. Like, oh my God. It looks like a Cheerios commercial. Oh my God, my mouth is watering. And then we put it in our mouth and chew it. The whole thing? Uh Uh-huh. Oh my god. 100% natural honey, baby. Can I be honest with you? I hate honey. <laughs> Did you swallow the whole thing? Yeah. Are you supposed to spit out part of it? <laughs> Why? What is that? Wax. <laughs> From, oh, really? <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just messing with you. It's fine. You just won't be able to di- digest. You're just going to cardiac arrest. <laughs> <laughs> Do you fear your left arm numb? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're having a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Lightweights Podcast. My name is Joe, and this is my special friend. Just a friend. I am very special. Nothing more. By the way, speaking of special and nothing more, everybody thought that we fucked at the cabin. <laughs> what do you mean? Like like at home? Like everybody thought that we had sex. Like <laughs> we were gone for the weekend to have sex. That's my bad. <laughs> what do you mean it's your bad? What did you tell them? We had sex. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that explains it. They were acting all weird. <laughs> Taylor, uh, David's assistant, was like, yeah, David was like talking about you guys a lot this weekend. I was like, why? He was just confused why you guys went in a cabin by yourselves and didn't invite anybody else. <laughs> <laughs> guys, we have a very special edition of our podcast coming out in February, every Saturday through the month of February. We have a new pod cabin series. Oh, wow. Did it- you just think of that? Yeah. No, that's pretty cool. Log cabin, pod cabin. Pod cabin, got it. Do you want me to explain it one more time? No, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, we just went, we literally rented a cabin and it was a blast and we had a good time and just boys will be boys. That's all I'll say. I'm putting my mic down. I'm going to go. <laughs> Did they really think that? Yeah. I mean, I was like, what else could you have possibly done there? And I'm like, we like went in the hot tub and it like got like weird. <laughs> You're not it got building weirder the case. And weirder. Yeah, I got weirder and weirder. Like, what'd you guys do in the hot tub? Like. We play with the Jets. <laughs> <laughs> we got special bubble soap. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, but no, it's all good. We're not fucking internet. I promise. Yeah, guys, stop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is getting weird. It does feel weird to say welcome back, guys, because it feels like they haven't left. We've been doing so many fucking episodes. I know. We're crushing it. Like, let's, we should pat ourselves on the back. Yeah. Our quality of the podcast may not be the best, but our content isn't either. I'll pat you on the back and you pat me on the butt. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you know what's crazy? What? We have over 150,000 listens. We're taking over the networks, man. Yeah, I, and I can't wait to say 500,000. That's going to be dope. We got a call from UTA. Ilya has a UTI. Guys, we are taking over the streams. Do you even know what UTI stands for? <laughs> Isn't it a college? <laughs> no, yes. <laughs> no, that's URI. <laughs> no, UTI is urinary tract infection. Have you ever had one? No. I had a girlfriend once who had one. Really? You're not allowed to go down there during those times. Down where? You know. No, I don't. Let's just say the coin purse is not allowed to have a deposit. Elaborate. <laughs> My mom listens to these. Stop. <laughs> You're not allowed to fuck. <laughs> have you ever had an STD? I've had, I've had like STD scares. 
like bad ones, like like freaking out, like calling the doctor, like explaining my symptoms. Like every time I have sex, oh, this is gonna sound so fucking bad. Of God course. damn it. Every time I have sex without a condom, <laughs> okay, I like I notice like different things about my body that I wouldn't notice. Like I have like this like rash on my right hand, and like the, the day after I had sex without a condom, I'm like, oh my god, I wonder what that is. Like, and I start panicking. Yeah, panicking. <laughs> Like, I have to, like, tell myself to, like, stop thinking about it. Yeah. There was one time I had sex with a girl. No condom. <laughs> she bled everywhere. Oh, like, my God. Everywhere. For, like, the next week, I thought I had AIDS. I called all the doctors that I know. I got, like, a rapid overnight. It was it was $1,000 for this rapid test that, like, tells you exactly whether or not you have AIDS. Why do you think that you had it? I don't know. I don't know. You just saw blood and you were like, oh my God. I just saw so much. No, there's so much of it. It was like, it was like a pool of blood. It was Yo, so is your dick that big, my man? Yeah, man. Yeah, hell yeah. You fucking pounded Woo! it. You went to Pound Town on a one way ticket. <laughs> Cut that out. <laughs> that was a miss. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you wouldn't get that joke. No, that's a joke. Uh, comes out in February. So remember this moment. You guys will think this is funny in four weeks. Long story short, I have to, I have to start having sex with a condom. I have to start having sex, yeah. What? What? <laughs> what would you do if you got someone pregnant? I don't know what the fuck I would do. I think I'd be fine because, like, I'm financially stable enough to to have a kid. It would just kind of suck because I'm so young and I don't want a kid. Right. I don't know what I would do. Yeah, but Joe Jr. would be so cute. I'd probably give it to you. What? <laughs> Wait, whoa. Wait, first, what? About, did you say you were going to give it to me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait, what do you mean Joe Jr.? Like, if you and I had kids, you're saying? No, I assumed that you would just name your son after me. Oh, 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 oh. that was so weird in so many ways. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a compliment. Go. You have hair. No, a good compliment. A meaningful one. Dude, I keep getting fucking calls. <laughs> Sorry. Odds one through two that you leak your phone number again. No, fuck no. Give me a compliment. <laughs> Give me a compliment, Joe. Okay, you say ha- something very nice to me. Honestly, you're a very easy person to get along with. Okay. You're a really easy person to get along with. Okay, great. <clears throat> Moving on. <laughs> Give me a compliment. Um, you have a nice smile. Thanks, man. That, that was really sweet of you. You're welcome. Okay. That's what I do. <laughs> That's what we're here for. I'm the lightweight spot. What are we at? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, for some reason, Ilya gets off on asking how much, how many minutes we have recorded. I get so off. I get, I get so off. I literally see his red rocket. It's and sticking like, up. Dude, the thing is, like, I, I'm fine with, like, sitting here for three hours, but, like, just like efficient, I'm all about efficiency. So like, if if you tell me right now we're at 23, oh my fuck, I would come. What are we at though? 23. <laughs> Finally, the queen of the hour, Annalise. Wow, here she comes, dressed in pink. Give her the mic, bro. You're done. This is me and Annalise's time now. Whoa. Hey, I have a question for you. Uh oh. Yeah, uh oh is right. <laughs> Why don't you come to the cabin this weekend, huh? Because I'm streaming on Twitch. <sighs> okay, fine. I forgive you. Just so you know, everyone now thinks that Joe and I are fucking. (laughs) And it's your fault. Aren't you? Oh, well. (laughs) That's what he told me. (laughs) I I got a text message from somebody. Okay. From a fan. And the text message said, love the podcast. Let me know what I should get tattooed next. Ooh. So I was like, okay, great. So I thought long and hard. And I'm actually going to FaceTime him and he's going to show you what he got tattooed. Oh, he already got a tattoo? Yep. Oh, my God. Give me one second. Dude, my stomach hurts from that honey. What the fuck did you do oh, to you me? Oh, you didn't eat that? Oh, you had a bee in yours. I told you. Oh Aren't you allergic? <laughs> Can you imagine there was a stinger in it? <laughs> His face blows up. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I can't breathe. <laughs> Yo. Hey, what's up, man? How, how are you? Good. How you doing, man? Good. You're on the podcast right now. I'm going to hand you... Uh, or I'm going to hand Joe the phone... Can you just do me a favor? Can you like uh, zoom over, or can you show him what you got, what that dude got? He doesn't know yet. Give me one second here. Yo. Hello. Hey, what's up, Joe? What's going on? What's up, man? Let me show you. Okay. Joe is old. Are you fucking kidding? <laughs> <laughs> you got Joe is old. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! It looks sick. <laughs> the font's pretty cool. Thank you. Elliot told me I, I texted him and told him if he would answer me, I would get a tattoo that he told me. Damn! <laughs> Do you love it? Oh yeah, for sure. Fuck yeah! That's gonna that's gonna be worth some money someday. <laughs> <laughs> All right, homie. Thank you. All right, man. All right, dude. Peace.
That's two dudes now that have my name on them, Annalise. That's sick. Do you think you'd ever join a cult? You think you already asked me this. Really? Yep. Huh? <laughs> We're four episodes in. <laughs> and I have nothing left to talk to you about. <laughs> oh, I can tell. I have a story that happened today. What happened? Uh, Bob and I were on a walk. We walked by this house. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> <laughs> no, Annalise has cute stories. Okay, you gotta okay, hear it. Okay, let's hear it out. And we were on a walk, and I saw this bird. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay, I'm eh? sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you saw the bird. I saw this bird, and it like wasn't flying, so we passed it. And then on the way back, I double checked to see if it was still there, and it was. So I'm like, oh, this bird's hurt. Uh, so I went and got the neighbor, and we and her went and captured the bird. We were running around, and it was just like hopping around. And we finally caught it, and uh, we put it in the box, and it flew away. Oh. So we thought his <laughs> wing was broken, but it could fly all along. And right when we finally caught it, it flew away. Whoa. <laughs> So would you join a cult? <laughs> that is pretty nice of you to do that. Thanks. <laughs> this is why we love having you here. Ilya was so mad that you weren't at the cabin this weekend. Oh, you have no idea. The entire time. He's like, I know this sounds weird, but like, I wish your girlfriend was here. You have no, well, I pulled up and it was only you outside. I was like, okay, this is fucked up. My <gasps> mood was like ruined like immediately. I completely forgot to tell him you weren't coming. <laughs> yeah. He's like, where's Annalise's suitcase? <laughs> How's she going to fit her stuff in the car? <laughs> and then I was like, are you sure I can't go up there and convince her? <laughs> and she was like, yeah, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> we'll have to see how the episodes do without me. Maybe people will enjoy it more. Without you? No, I think you're a great mediator. I think that like you are the perfect balance between Joe and I. You know what? Like what I really don't like? Children. <laughs> No, I don't. <laughs> Stories about helping birds. <laughs> yeah, why do you hate birds? <laughs> Guys, if you've ever messaged anyone on Instagram, now's the time. Ask Elia why he hates birds. I don't hate birds. <laughs> I'm cutting I've your... actually done the same thing. I've, fuck, I've ran past the bird. I'm cutting your audio. <laughs> Yo, I was running past the bird, and, and I ran. They can't hear you. You know what I really don't like? What phrase I don't like? See you later. No. How are you? Yeah, it's a waste of time. It is such a waste of time. Who's honest? Dude, that's exactly what I'm saying. That's what, what, what other answer are you going to give but good? The The question should be, how are you in life? You know what I mean? That's or just like, as bad. You think so? Yeah, cut the small talk, man. Just get to the chase. Like, do you like where you are in life? And if not, please tell me why not. We can talk about it. Like, that's such a... Like, that's what you would rather write yes. after hello? Let's role play. Ready? Okay, I just ran into you. Go. Hey, Elia. Hey, uh, how are you in life? Like, are you good or... Like, are you struggling? Why would you say that? <laughs> See, it sounds weird. I get punched in the face. <laughs> but like, how are you? Is definitely a waste of time. Yeah, but it's a it's a placeholder. Yeah, right. But we should definitely think of a new way to interact. I'm I'm glad that you agree with me. That's crazy. I mean, you walked in, and I don't even think I looked at you. Yeah, great. <laughs> when you walk in, I spit on your shoes. So okay. Well, when you sleep, I literally use your <laughs> pillowcases, toilet paper. What? I use your pillowcases, toilet paper. And, I then, never... and then you put it back? <laughs> I put it back. I put the While I'm sleeping? Yeah. <laughs> I, went... <laughs> I snuck into your room and did it, yeah. Wait, the pillow that my head is on? <laughs> yep. I don't know. You didn't wake up. <laughs> oh, that's what that was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. wow, man. Good it, job. It wasn't a dream. Sneaky, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's one thing you could say. Oh, would you would you go to the strip club with us? Eh. That'd be so fun, the three of us. Like, for yeah. podcast research? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No touching, like, no touching at all. We'll just sit there. And, like, if they come at me and, like, you know, I'm forced to touch them, that's, like, totally fine. Too. And, like, if Ilya's wallet opens up and he, like, gets a lap dance, it's fine, too. Yeah. And if Joe gets a lap dance at the same time, then also that's fine. Like, and if we get, like, a couple's lap dance, then that's fine, too. Uh, is that Chippendales, right? Do you know what Chippendales is? No, I honestly, Annalise said that, and I thought she was speaking in another language. So. <laughs> 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 it's the male strip club. Oh, I'm down to go there, too. I would go there, too. That'd be so fun. Yeah, you want to go uh, tomorrow? Sure. I think they're open. Not yet. But all restaurants are open, so I assume strip clubs. <laughs> <laughs> You're knocking on the front door. You can get, uh, you can get an online strip tease. Yeah, we're not falling for that again. The dominatrix. <laughs> yeah, listen to this. I, I fucking messaged the dominatrix, right? <laughs> it sounds so funny. Yeah, that sounds really funny. But anyway, I messaged the dominatrix to like get a Zoom fucking... Uh, Domination or whatever it's called. <laughs> Can you imagine Ilya in David's living room? <laughs> oh, no. 
So, so long story short, she she responds like she she doesn't do in person. So, so I try to book it online, and then I, I message her again. I'm like, hey, I'm I'm trying to do it online. It's not working. Can I do a class tomorrow? And she messages me back. She goes, in writing, she goes, literally just told you, <laughs> I'm not doing in person. Like, what the fuck? Didn't she call you an idiot and write in all caps? I think she called you an idiot too. No, she didn't. Did she? Yeah, she did. Oh, you showed her this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. I was so excited. Yeah, what a bitch. Either that, either that, or she was in character already. She's literally doing her job, man. That's what he said. She's in character. So what do I respond? (laughs) Say, "Wow, that was hot." How much do I owe you? (laughs) Wow, can you do that again? (laughs) (laughs) Can can you call me your bitch after? (laughs) Would you get a male dominatrix? A male one? Yeah. No. Okay. I mean, maybe if we did like odds one and thirty. One, two, three, eight, twelve. Fuck. Sorry, guys. I'll try and get this again next week. <laughs> it becomes an ongoing thing. <laughs> you get pegged. <laughs> it's not funny, dude. It's a little funny. It's funny to you because it's not happening to you. I know. But like, my asshole is really small. Well, not after the session. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, were you ever a clown in high school? Or were you like a like a class clown? Oh, uh, yeah, for the most part. Really? Well, you were emo. I could totally see you like an emo kid, like being an emo kid. Oh, I was. So you weren't funny. You were sad. No, I had yeah. good jokes. No. Actually? Yeah, man. You were a class clown. People would laugh at your jokes. Yeah, people thought it was funny just like they think I'm funny now. <laughs> or you'd say a joke and someone would throw a pencil at you. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, loser. <laughs> and then I'd cry. <laughs> in sophomore year, I was in the advanced Spanish class. But then I needed to go down a level, but they wouldn't let me. So I had to go back down to basic Spanish, and that's where all the bad kids were. And every day there was a cop in the class because someone would get in a fight. No way. Every day? Yeah. Damn. Dude, that was the first time I saw someone get punched in the face. It was so scary. Oh, my God. Yeah. These two kids were fighting, and this one kid, literally, he didn't fight back for some reason. He was literally just taking punch after punch in his face. And then, like, they finally broke it up. And both of them got suspended. He didn't even punch back. It's wild. It's wild. That kid was me. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping you were going to say a funny joke to keep that story in. But yeah, that's it. <laughs> Would you get another tattoo of me? No. But you know what I noticed? When I introduce myself to people or like when I meet people, I'll like reach my hand out or whatever and like shake their hand and they'll tell me their name. And like right away, like a millisecond after they tell me their name, I have no idea what their name is. Yeah. Does that happen to you? All the yeah. time. You got to say when they say their name, you go like, hi, Greg. Oh, nice right, right, you. right, right, right. Yeah, that shit happens to me. Like, it's really bad. You ever seen the movie Scary Movie? Yeah. The girl who, like, she resets everyone's name, but she says it in the scary voice. Oh, no. Otherwise, no. she forgets their name. <laughs> <laughs> Let's role play that, ready? Hey, I'm Joe. Hey, Ilya. Hi, Ilya. <laughs> <laughs> That's really... You start doing that in real life? <laughs> <laughs> it worked in the movie. <laughs> You're at a meeting. You introduced me to the people at Dobricks. Yeah. Guys, this is my partner, uh, Joe. <laughs> this is our first investor, Elon Musk. Hi, Elon. Hi, Elon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, totally, bro. I'm going to start doing that or like something like that. I don't know if I told you this, but when I flew from and to Chicago, I took this plane. It's called the Boeing 777. And uh, the first class experience on that on that plane is fucking phenomenal did i tell you about it no okay well you you're you know like regular first class on planes it's just like it's it's two people well here you fucking lay down completely like a bed like you have your own little pod whoa and you completely lay down it's it was insane and you can sleep the whole way that's like sick. laying down like you're in bed Wow. It was insane. And like, it's so funny because I was like such a newbie to this. And there'd be other. Were you yawning right now? Were you just yawning? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, you were. I, well, I you my, piece of shit. I was stretching my mouth. <laughs> you were yawning. I stretched my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, anyways. Yeah, yeah, like, you go. It was just, it was cool because like, you, you get into first class and you like, you get to see. <laughs> what happens in first class? <laughs> Nothing. 
<laughs> in first class it's just cool because like you get there and you get to see all like the noobs that are there like the ones that have never seen this like me like I was like recording a video and like people next to me like recording a video and then there was this, this other guy that was just sitting there like sleeping because he doesn't give a fuck because he's done this so many times you know yeah. it's like interesting interesting to see like noobs like in their like in there the first time you know did, did uh did you join the Maha Club no I haven't had the chance actually but I heard it's like pretty oh this is what I was gonna say Dude, I was talking to um, I was talking to my friend, my friends back home, like Mike, John, Al, and apparently, and like, tell me if this is true, they all masturbate like on the plane. That's fucking weird. Wait, you don't do it? No. Do you? No. Oh, okay. Dude, I was like, and like, they were so like, they were so confident in what they were saying. It's like they did it every time. They probably did. That's crazy. You've never masturbated on a plane. No. I haven't either. And like they said they they said that they do it every time. In the bathroom or like Yeah, under a yeah, like they're going they're going in the bathroom and they're masturbating. And they they said that like it's a normal thing that like everyone does. So weird. And like I'm all for masturbating on in weird places. Oh, me too. But like on a Libraries. plane on a plane I would just get dizzy. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> What happens if like there's a bad turbulence and you like fall and hit your head and like your well, penis? Well, my is question out. is, what happens if there's bad turbulence and there's cum shooting out of your <laughs> penis and like you're all over the fucking place and then like you got cum on the mirror now, you got cum on all the fucking toilet. You know, I'm sorry. <sighs> that was my question. Hi, Oleg. <laughs> <laughs> Oleg is Ilya's dad. <laughs> you're gonna text Ilya next time to come down for the podcast. <laughs> He's gonna say no. <laughs> Just flat out no. <laughs> I refuse to be part of whatever the fuck you guys talk about. <laughs> now comes the portion of the podcast where I read the the coolest reviews of our Apple Podcast reviews. So if you want to get on in a segment next week, go leave a nice five star comment, and maybe yours will make it to the top. So the first one, Joe Volpus is literally God. Thanks, Big Chungus four twenty six nine six six six. You should you should just read the one that like really stands out and like just be done with it. Just one review. I got one. Listening is a trip of two chaotically different fellows and a girl who's way out of Joe's league. You'll learn how much Joe has lice, doesn't wash his hands, and doesn't know how to pronounce Kalu. As well as Ilya leaks his number for this pod and struggles in the love game. Together they make comments that make Annalise wish she wasn't there. <laughs> wow. That's oh, true. Five star review right yeah. here. <laughs> Highly recommended. I have another one. Joe is kind of annoying, tries too hard. Oh, never mind. When we were at the cabin the other day, I went out of the bathroom because we were leaving. He goes, go back in there. Go back in there. You know why. I'm right outside. You know why. Go back inside. I'm like, why? I have no idea. fucking house again. Right in front of me again. Gross, Joe. I didn't pee on my hands. It doesn't matter, Joe. If I'm outside of the bathroom, if anyone's outside of the bathroom, it's just logical to wash your hands because they're going to think in their head, that's fucking that's gross. gross. Why don't yeah. you think this? How come I don't wash my hands before I go pee? That way, when I touch my wiener and my wiener is already clean, then it's like I'm touching one clean thing into another clean thing where technically I don't need to even wash anything. You're touching the door handle. You're touching the toilet handle. You're touching things. But I wash, I wash my hands Bro. before <laughs> I pee. That's your what argument, I'm saying. Your How do you flush? How do you flush? Use my foot. No, I use didn't. my head. <laughs> I use my forehead. <laughs> I use my tongue. <laughs> your your like argument is so like illogical that like honestly there's no no point of even arguing. Okay. Literally. Like that nobody's on your side. And you can't like get him to change his mind. If you're on my side, the people <laughs> should start That's washing their heads. Bad idea. Before they pee, send a message to Elliot right now. That's a horrible idea because I'm I'm gonna get a lot of messages that are gonna say Joe's a dipshit. <laughs> That's not what they're they're gonna say that you're wrong. Okay. Is my bird story getting cut? Are you guys keeping that? No, no it's definitely gonna, going in. Yeah, we're going to keep that. That was really good. <laughs> <laughs> More Italy stories. <laughs> That's the top request. <laughs> We get kicked What do you off. guys want to see more of a Lightways podcast? <laughs> <laughs> it's not even an option. <laughs> People DM me. <laughs> <laughs> Annalise, do you like me? Be honest. I do. Really? What did you think of Ilya when you first met him? I, I liked him. Really? Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. That's great. I love when I like make a good impression on like a friend's girlfriend. I feel like that's super important. Yeah. You know what I like about you? Hmm. You're down to be the butt of the joke. And that's really rare in a lot of people. Uh, that a lot of people don't want to see themselves as that. And that's what makes you fun. Oh, fuck yeah. That was so nice of you guys. <laughs> Where's the dildo? Let's put it on my forehead again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my, my dad calls me the other day. While, while, like, while we're at the ski resort, I'm hungover as shit. 
I'm literally laying down in line to get the rentals. <laughs> <laughs> like laying down I'm so hungover in line in front of everybody and my dad calls me while I'm this hungover and he's like screaming at me for this dildo thing to be taken down I'm like dad not now <laughs> like, I'm like please let me go like and I don't want to tell him I'm hungover because it's gonna make matters worse so I'm just like listening to him scream at me while I'm laying down hungover <laughs> in line <laughs> we are now coming to the portion of the podcast where we give you the listener Free money for listening. That's right. And what's that amount? $200 now. $200 to lower race. Last week it was $175. Our increment right now is $25. Who knows if we have more listeners in the future. It may go up $100. It may go up $500 depending on how frisky I'm feeling. But right now it's $200, mofos. And it'll tell them how they can be entered to win this $200. Hey guys, all you gotta do is follow the Lightweights podcast on Instagram, which is Are you mimicking at- me? Huh? Are you mimicking me? Oh, I thought that was you talking. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, that was. My yeah, bad. My bad. <laughs> uh, so, again, just follow the <laughs> at Lightweights pod on Instagram and then send us in your phone number. We just posted a story. We're taking phone numbers now. Joe, take it away. Yeah, guys, just follow us on Instagram at Lightweights pod if you want to be entered to win the free money. And it'll start calling some numbers. Okay, here we go. Hello. There's no way. There's no way. How you doing? Oh my god. I was literally in bed. Get up because it's time for trivia. Are you ready? Kidding me. This is your chance to win two hundred dollars directly to your bank account if you get this right. Are you ready? I'm I'm gonna die. How many miles away is the sun from the earth to the nearest million? Uh, uh, She's thinking about it. <laughs> She's doing calculations in her head. Oh um, if, for, if from here to target is 10 miles, then... <laughs> that's like 47 targets times 14. Um, I think 44 million. Oh, oh my God. So close. Did so she just close. say 91.5 million? That's what I heard. Wait, I did. You did. Hey, congratulations. You just won $200. If you can please text me your uh, your Zelle information, I'm gonna send that money over to you right now. Okay. Oh, hey. Hey. Yeah, what's the best podcast in the world? Um, the lightweight podcast. <laughs> Since just <you're> views. <laughs> <laughs> Who and a half. <laughs> Unfiltered. <laughs> cool. Well, thanks for sending in your number. All right, I'll text you. Bye. Okay. We're not sending money, right? No. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> Forums start talking about it. They say they're sending out $4 million every week, but they're not. Guys, moving forward, if you want to win money, you have to listen into the podcast and listen to the code word that Joe and I are going to be announcing every week. That code word will be used when we call you. And if you get that code word correctly, you will win the money. And make sure you're following us on the Instagram account at LightweightsPod, because if you send your number and you're not following us, we're not going to call you. That's right. And the code word for next week is purple banana. mattress. What? What? I thought we agreed on banana. No, no, purple mattress. No, that's a company. Home Depot. <laughs> <laughs> Tesla. <laughs> I forget the code. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so what's the code? I'm confused. <laughs> uh, I don't know, Fern. Okay. Okay, it's Fern. That's everybody. a hard word. Can we do an easier one? Sure. Fuck, Ca- we're confusing cat. them. I'm confusing me. <laughs> oh, yeah, you guys said like fucking 18 different words. Uh, I don't know. Fern, NASA, Tesla, <laughs> pillow. <laughs> Yellow, black, green. <laughs> um, Lady Gaga. Okay, Lady Gaga's good. Because she's going to be our guest next week. N- next week. No, not really. But In a few months. months? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Lady Gaga is the code word. Um, Lady Gaga. Lightweight's out. Out. <laughs>